Hello everyone, my name is Marjolein Kramer and I work as a Senior Advocacy Officer at the European Cultural Foundation based in Amsterdam. As a response to the Corona crisis, the European Cultural Foundation has created the Culture of Solidarity Fund. It was established to unite Europe by funding local players to build alliances with a European idea in mind. To revive a European sense of solidarity and belonging, share experiences, imagine a better future and together rebuild a common public space. The Culture of Solidarity Fund offers various application windows this year. Our first deadline already closed on April the 27th and the next round is opening up this Monday. The first round was met with an overwhelming response of more than 2,500 proposals received from all across Europe. It showed a tremendous need for co-funding in regions with less or no public emergency funding for cultural or European initiatives available, like South and Central Eastern Europe, but also the UK. The funding opportunities offered range from smaller grants up to 50,000 euros to some bigger grants of 50,000 euros. What we have seen is that the individuals or organizations who applied work in and with culture, but also collaborate with other sectors to achieve creative solutions. They often try to connect and grow local initiatives of, crisis, of creative crisis response into larger and stronger alliances of pan-European solidarity. I can give you one example of the projects, the European Declaration of Urban Rights by Zulo Arc, an architecture platform based in Madrid, but also in other cities like Berlin, Bologna and La Coruña. The project describes that in the Europe of today, cities need to confront new and enormous global challenges, but that there is the opportunity to redefine notions of urban culture and mobilize for a new ecological and democratic sensitivity in this post-pandemic world. What they want with the project is to construct a virtual public meeting place, a sort of Europarliament of urban rights, to debate modes of organization and the construction of common spaces. Inspired by this idea of the Parliament, this project is a commitment to connect to a net to connect a network of citizens, civil society organizations, professionals and amateurs of urbanism to recover lessons and experiences born out of the current and previous crises in order to together imagine proposals for future challenges in various scales and contexts through, uh, throughout Europe. And this is exactly what we were looking for to connect the local with the European in a flexible and hands-on way, and to grow a collective impact for a European culture of solidarity. So to us solidarity and together with that, a Europe that is based on a social economy, where open and shared public spaces, outward looking experiences are possible. To us, the Corona crisis is not only a challenge to public health, our economy and social cohesion, it's a challenge to our way of life. The way we Europeans deal with the situation will have profound implications on how we build Europe of today and tomorrow. Thank you.